Hi guys and gals and welcome back to another Borkin' No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to Beginner Guide to Genshin Impact and the first thing we gotta cover is how to reroll without an email. So let's get right into it. You will go here into the Mihio account and you're not gonna register by email, you are going to register by username. Alright, after you've created your account, you're gonna go ahead and hit register and then now we have a fantastic account on our hands, right? So let's go ahead and switch back to the game. Now that we're back in Genshin, you're gonna go ahead and click the Mihio symbol and then we're gonna input. All right, so that pretty much covers the part of logging in with your username and being able to reroll from there. Let's go ahead and cover where you essentially start to do the summons, which is account rank five and account rank seven. All right guys, so I essentially showed you guys how to use a username to log into Genshin for reroll purposes. I'm going ahead and linking a video to a speed run to adventure rank seven. Adventure rank seven is going to be really important. You know, credits to Keyline Pi. He is the one who did the speed run for adventure rank seven. So let's go ahead and talk about why adventure rank seven is so important. So if you hit Alt on PC, you're going to click this Paimon icon as due to this menu specifically, and let's go into the mail right here. The reason why this mailbox is so important is because on Adventure Rank 1, which is pretty much a pawn login, you'll get these 10 Acquainted Fates, which will be used to summon on the Beginner Banner, right? That's where you want to summon them with. And after that, once you get to Adventure Rank 7, you'll get these 1600 Primo Gems. These 1600 Primo Gems can be used the Intertwined Fates, which is what you will use to summon on the Venti Banner. Just note that these Primo Gems are very, very important in order to do the Limited Banner, right? So then we get the 10 Acquainted Fate at Account Rank 10. This is all based off of the pre-launch launch rewards, so this is why it's so important to essentially get to Adventure Rank 7 in particular to do the Limited Banner summons. So if you hit the X mark right there, if you go into the wish section right here, you can essentially see that these is the acquainted fates. I'll also pull up the beginner banner. If you want to know the rates, if you go into details, this essentially shows you the rates for the game, right? For the beginner banner, there's no weapons in the five star and four star pull. It'll only be characters, right? And that's really important because, you know, characters make the game subjectively more fun. So let's go ahead and summon just so you can see the animations for it. Now, if it's bold, that means it's a five star. This is blue, so that means it is a three star. So we got a three star weapon. And you can see here we got Masterless Stardust. And the reason why that's so important is if you go, you know, into the shop, right? If you go into shop right here, you go to Paimon's Bargain Shop, you go to Stardust Exchange, you can see here, this is the same currency that we just got. You're going to use the Stardust Exchange to essentially get intertwined fates so you can do more summons on the Venti banner. Really important to do this if you're going to reroll, just so you know what to purchase. Ideally, you use it to get intertwined fates so you can do more summons on the Venti banner because Venti is pretty much one of the best characters in the game currently. You get Star Glitter. I'm pretty sure you get this based off of the limited banners that appear. But we can't test that right now since the pity banner isn't here. But Stardust Exchange is you pretty much get this from, you know, Acquainted Fates, right? You get those from the Acquainted Fates. And this is where you use your Primo Gems like we talked about earlier. You know, I don't have enough, but this is how you would get the limited banner summons, right? Now you essentially know why you need to get to Adventure Rank 7 so you can do more summons. Let's go ahead and cover more parts of the UI. So right here, if you go into Paimon's icon again, the biggest thing that I want you guys to take note of is the character section. This will be, you know, where you essentially level characters. So if, for example, you don't have a character who's like maxed out, then you can level them up right here, right? And be very careful with, you know, how you level characters. You know, just note that you will essentially want at least a party of six to eight for the Abyss. It's, it's you know, comes later, but don't, you know, be very careful with what you level because essentially ascending happens and ascending is very very difficult because you require specific materials like for example to do the ascension i need this brilliant sliver and i can only get that by progressing my adventure rank reward right that's the only way i can get it so we can also talk about the constellation in order to unlock the constellation you essentially need character dupes now of course it comes free because of the fact that this is the main character so if you click here and then you click this, you see that this only comes from wishing. So this is where the dupe system pretty much originates from. You can also go to the talent section. Each character will have a specific talent, 
For example, Amber right here, which is a free character, you know, decreases stamina com uh, consumption when gliding. Kai is a pretty good one too, because he can actually sprint longer than everyone because his stamina consumption lowers by 20%. So he's a good character if you want, you know, in your party just to run, run around the map in, right? Because you're going to be running around the map quite a bit. And then of course you can, you know, go to the weapon section if you want to, you know, change the character's weapons. You, know, you can even enhance like the weapons that you see fit right you know you use pretty much like three star weapons or one star weapons that you get roaming around the field to level those weapons of course be very scarce on how you level your weapons and then you can also go into go back here you go into the inventory section you can also you know wear artifacts this is like the artifacts area you know, there's set bonuses for equipping certain artifacts like for example this is structure set you get these bonuses based off of, you know, if you equip that set in particular. So those are like the things that I want us to pay attention to. And then we'll get the adventure handbook later on after adventure rank 12, which is a different top. Next, let's go ahead and cover what's essentially the important parts when exploring the game in Genshin. So let's talk about one of the most important resources in the game that you can find just roaming the map. And that's going to be Oculi or Oculus. This Oculus is really important because essentially it's your stamina system. So if you need to dodge, climb, sprint, or glide, even attack in this game, you are going to need stamina. So whenever you find these Oculi or Oculuses roaming around the map, make sure to go ahead and mark it and collect them and then bring it back to your nearest statue so you can redeem them. And of course, you have to have a certain amount in order to redeem them. After you redeem them, you'll, you know, you'll get stamina, you'll get... Primo gems, you'll get all these different types of reward, adventure rank of course. It's just going to be a huge benefit so that you can pretty much enjoy the game more. So make sure you collect all of these, as many as you can, so that you have an easier time just running around and just playing the game. Right? So one of the most important parts in the game is the elemental reactions, right? These elemental reactions are pretty crazy because essentially if you use certain elements together, you'll deal more damage. Like for example right here, we just overload, right? This will pretty much make you a better player in Genshin. The way you pretty much combo elements is you stack an element or you stack a debuff on someone. And then when you stack a debuff on someone, you will use an opposing element or another element to trigger the elemental reaction. So you can see here that essentially I deal more damage, I can clear the mobs faster, just because of the fact that we are using elemental reactions. Now you can use one character to pretty much clobber an enemy because that's your favorite character, right? But it's really amazing pulling off element reactions and landing debuffs so that you can deal more damage and finishing your opponents quickly so you can pretty much do the next big thing because there's a lot of pretty much challenges in the game where you have to beat the enemies as quick as possible so make sure to master elemental reactions and placing debuffs on everyone so you can you know deal more damage and just have more overall and one thing that i do want to know is that this game does if you've played like near automata or you know devil may cry games has a very very close feel to the platinum games but it's missing just a smidge of polish uh, i'm hoping to see that it'll get there over time we shall so let's go ahead and talk about the adventurer's handbook this unlocks at adventure rank 12. this will be the best way to essentially get adventure rank levels really quickly this will pretty much mostly be unlocked you'll probably get to chapter 4 very quickly after adventure rank 12 and then these commissions are essentially like for you know adventure exp so you can level even higher then we have the domains here so this is like extra quests as well and then you have bosses right now these are ley lines be very careful with what you do i highly suggest doing the ones that you know give you more mora which is this currency right here so you can upgrade weapons just note that there is a cost of them you'll see treasure collection cost this is like resin right and you want to make sure that you can spend these appropriately. You know, it's up to you what you want to spend it on. I highly suggest spending it on Mora. You know, defeat bosses as well if you can. But, you know, just be very careful with how you spend your resin. This isn't a guide on, you know, how to spend resin. This is just to show you what the UI features have. I'm going to go here to event overview. This is going to pretty much show you all the different events occurring. You know, you we also have... Shai Ling or Shayang Ling. She's a free character that you get at Adventure Rank 20. It's really fantastic that we get free characters. Barbara is also another character that we get at Adventure Rank 20. 
And, you know, we already talked about getting adventure rank, you know, do your adventure rank handbook missions and, you know, you'll probably get to adventure rank 20 as soon as possible. Next thing, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is the elemental overview, or I like to call it the witcher view. It's gonna be useful for doing quests or to find, like, you know, hidden treasure everywhere, right? So you can click right there, or you can click the middle mouse button. Next, let's talk about the quest section. This is how you essentially see all the quests. You can see here there's a commissions, you know, the world quest based off, you know, the story quest. Story quests pretty much provide the most adventure EXP. So I highly suggest, you know, just burning through those. And then let's talk about the last thing. This is co-op mode right here. This is essentially, you know, be very uh, careful with how you do this. You should be uh, essentially join after approval because you don't want people just jumping into your world. It'll be default join after approval. And the reason why you don't want folks just joining your world is because, you know, there's weekly bosses and they can essentially steal your weekly boss. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. And we'll see you next one.